so thankful that you all came out this morning. Didn't God give us a beautiful day? Yes, Amen. And the sun's just shining. The wind's not blowing. It's just a beautiful day. We're so thankful to be here. And I'm going to take just a second and introduce the group to y'all. Uh, down here on my far left, uh, as Mary St. Clair, she hails all the way from Fredericktown, Ohio. Make Mary St. Clair welcome, if you would. You got it. You got it. And, uh, her son, Quaid, is out here in the middle. He's running the sound for us. Can y'all hear okay? Can everybody hear okay? Good deal, okay. Make Quaid welcome, too. Give him some horn. All righty. And down here on my far right is the newest member of the group, and he's just doing a fantastic job. And he hails all the way from Pataskala, Ohio. Make Mr. Mark Stevens on the steel welcome. You've done a great job. We had we had to put some sunscreen on our bald heads. Me and Mark did, and because uh, last Sunday we got all burnt. <laughs> last Sunday we got burnt. Uh, this lovely lady here, uh, I call her my wife because that's what she is. So y'all need to pray, uh, especially for her. Being married to me is a challenge sometimes. I can but, second uh, that. <laughs> her name is Sharon McCorkle. Wait, make Sharon welcome. <laughs> And my name's George, and that makes up all the Victor True, and we are so happy to be here with y'all. We also have a guest uh, singer with us. Where you at, Bob? Oh, he, oh, he's not singing. I don't know your song. Well, you, you're a bass singer. You just kind of bop along. But uh, anyway, uh, make Bob Small back here welcome. He'll be up here in a little bit. All righty. How many folks out there has ever been to a dead church? I'm putting my hand up, and I can't see your hand. Stick your hand out the window so I can see you. Everybody's been to a dead church at one point or another, I'm sure. And uh, we was telling one of our songwriters about some of the dead churches we sing in. And uh, he wrote a song about it. See if you like it here. It's called The Dead Zone. You are one of his own. 
Praise the Lord more. He's worthy of our praise. Amen? Amen. Amen. We're going to do a song now that uh, Mary, down here on the end, uh, wrote a few years ago. I don't know if you want to say anything about it, Mary. You can. Sure. I wrote this song back in 2005, but it has a timeless message. It was when uh, Katrina, the do you remember Hurricane Katrina, when it came through, how devastating that was? So God gave me some insight. And I, he allowed me to pen this song called The Great I Am, So, and then listen to the parallel to today. You better run. Storm clouds are brewing all across the sky. The weatherman says as a storm on the rise, run and take cover just as fast as you can. You better move up, up to higher land. Run to the refuge of the great I am. Run to the safety of his mighty hand. Run to your family, go tell all your friends to run to the Savior while they still have. The warfare that's on the rise The preacher man says Now is the time Better be covered by the blood of the Lamb Soon death will be coming all over the place You better run There'll be two in the field Tending the corn One's left behind at the sound of the horn Two on the way to the grocery store One caught away The other left here no more Run to the refuge Of the great I am Run to the safety Of his mighty hand Run to your family Go tell all your friends To run to the Savior While they still have a chance You better run You better run You'll try to restore, take your heavenly seed. Don't be left behind while the things in life rise. You better run, run to the great, the great I am. You better run, run to the great, the great I am. You better run, run, run. You know, uh, 
few years ago, uh, when everybody blew the horns like that, you know what it meant? <laughs> it meant start the movie. Oh, okay. <laughs> you remember the drive-in theater? It's what this reminds me of. But we don't have anybody, no popcorn or nothing like that. So maybe next time. <laughs>